Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. So our producer, Alec, young man, very spry, about to turn 22 years old at some point in his life, always says to us, hey man, as soon as you guys are done shooting, you go to your phones and then you laugh about the most fucked up shit you could possibly laugh at on the mm-hmm. internet, um, which is true. Uh, Dan, you're, I would say you're a master of memes in this world. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. I mean, I'm pretty good at finding them, but people, it's also, I've, I've developed that reputation, so people send them to me a lot now, so it's become like a self-fulfilling prophecy at this point. You know yeah, I mean? and, and a lot, look, a lot of you guys send us videos of like, hey man, here's some fucked up video I saw on the internet. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Today we're actually going to give you our thoughts on this. Uh, this was a, a video submitted by... One of our listeners who said, holy shit, you got to see this. What the fuck's going on here? So pl- let's, let's play the video, and we will actually do it for you. I mean, the title is when lightsaber dueling goes horribly wrong. And then <laughs> in parentheses, it says watch till end. Now, he hasn't started the video yet. I'm guessing there are one or more obese people in this fucking video. That would be my guess. I don't know, but I can tell you this. This definitely looks like uh, North Carolina. A little bit, yeah. The trees. It's and wooded. The... It's very wooded. Yeah. Yeah. Fire, fire away, Alec. <laughs> Let's go. What do we got here? Oh, oh there it, it is. Nailed it. That's a wee Boom. Shit. I was you calling away, jackass. Well, that ah, guy. he's got, got he's got a noticeable limp. Do you yeah, see that? He's got a Braves jersey on. Uh, he's got a Braves Atlanta Braves. So Georgia. I was close. They had uh, two f- bad fake British accents too to start with. I will say this: both of them look very proficient with a lightsaber. Ah, just missed him there. This guy's lateral movement is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pants almost fell yeah. down. Your question? I'll even use my weak hand. Is, oh. that a, is that a garbage bag that he sewed legs into? <laughs> what is that? Why would you go shirtless? Look, it's Georgia. It's hot. Yeah. But, uh, Look at why the- would you go shirtless? Oh, boy. Well, the one guy's wearing sandals. I uh, feel like we're watching uh, <laughs> Uncle Vito from... Uh, Bam Margera's show. Oh, a little bit, yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Uncle Vito. Oh, did he die? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. What's the horribly wrong part of it? I don't know yet. I mean, I can only assume it's going to involve the gentleman without the shirt. Probably. That's my guess. You know, at least they're not making the fucking lightsaber noises. Yeah. It's just the really bad British accent. Who's shooting this? Because they're, they're up high enough. I mean, this is shot well. It's a tall man. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very tall man. It's got to be like a 6'6 six, six guy. <laughs> ah, he's a bounty hunter. He's got a bounty hunter. Okay. Fuck you, it's my dad's junior name. <laughs> it's my dad's junior name. <laughs> Look at those sandals. Yeah. I mean, he is squeezing the life out of those sandals. Yeah, he's got, he definitely needs to see Wilfred Brimley. Yeah. Um. Wait, he's a, not a Jedi, but he's wearing, he's using a fucking lightsaber. Yeah. Bounty got, hunters don't have lightsabers. They don't have lightsabers. Oh, Sorry. That's getting interesting. <laughs> you think this is family members here? Or, or is this like two bros? I think it's two bros. They don't look alike. No, they don't look alike. <laughs> There's a lot of foreplay here going on. Like, if, if it ends horribly wrong, there was a way to gain power. he's going to fucking stab somebody. <laughs> Or he's going to get knocked the fuck out. I don't know what's going to happen here. Usually in one of these things, like, somebody gets pissed off and yeah. takes it too far. Or he gets cracked in the head and then homeboy just attacks him. Yeah. The only problem is those things are going to knock you out. No, you would have to swing really hard. Maybe he loses an eye or something. That'd be great. Well, Can you show somebody losing an eye on YouTube? I don't think so. Be it can't awesome. be that graphic if it's on YouTube. <laughs> that would be great if you could lose a fucking eye, though, in this... Together. I'm not even we sure who's who I want to see lose the eye. Not the Braves fan, I guess. Ooh, he just got his leg chopped off. Ah. When you get your leg chopped off, you got to go to one, right? You got to start uh, hopping. If you're, if you're LARPing, which is essentially what this is. Yeah, I mean, we've all seen, uh, what's, what's that movie with Paul Rudd and Sean William Scott? Uh, role Models. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> LARPing is the term for it? Yeah. I don't know what LARP stands for. Live action role play. Okay. Yeah, that's what our producer said. There's a surprising amount of dialogue in this video here. Yeah, do you think it's scripted? At some point, I think it was. 
And then what, what, what kind of time do you spend rehearsing this script? I don't know. What, See, what do you say, young Padawan? I always wonder what the purpose Padawan. of this is. I don't either. Because if you know you're getting filmed, too, you, you wear a shirt that you day. If you're going to be on camera, you should wear a shirt. He could have at least gotten uh, some fake tanner on. Something. Well, I'm going to be honest. I don't think you can afford that. A fake tan is expensive. Not if you buy the fucking... A good one. A good one's going to oh, run yeah. you about and, oh, 60. We got a cat. And a license How many plate. times do you think that cat's been whoa, fucked? Whoa, oh, whoa. shit. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, no. He lost that sandal, He's too. Down. Oh, are you good, bro? Ouch. Oh. I hope you got that off. Why is there a vacuum outside and yeah, there's looks, a can of cat food right next to it? Yeah, it looks like they were eating cat food and vacuuming. I think I just shit myself. Oh, oh shit. He, he said, I think I just shit myself. Wow. Wow. So, just to recap, that was an enormous man fighting a normal sized man. Yeah. And I say man loosely. And then uh, I like how a Best Buy ad just pops up right after that of like, hey, man, now that you saw two. Fat rednecks fighting in a, yeah, you know, in a in a in a one bedroom ranch. Yep. Why don't you pop on down to Best Buy and buy that thirty five hundred dollar uh, new Mac Pro that you you had your eye on? Well, I mean, look, I think that's. Uh, I feel like buying a new Mac after this <laughs> because I want to throw the old one away <clears throat> and pretend I never saw this. That's why. Alec, Oof. is this is this what the like? How many views does that video have? You think? Three Holy million shit, views for dude. that fucking thing. That's amazing, man. Jesus Christ. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> I don't know. We could be doing that, I guess. Because that, that, that's Jared in like 10 years. To be honest, if it's monetized, I think YouTube's still like, what, 2,000 bucks per million views? Yeah. Somewhere around there? I got six grand. They just got six grand for that video. For four minutes of weird ass shit and then he actually literally shit himself he shit himself um knocked over their vacuum cleaner well i think the vacuum cleaner was probably on its last leg you think so anyway what well, was outside and typically that's not where you store vacuum cleaners <laughs> right you also don't typically store them with cat food uh but i i could see this guy and his family vacuuming his driveway you know Hey, man, get the gravel out of it there. It doesn't look like he's showered in six weeks, so I don't know if he's vacuuming outside. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm surprised this didn't happen in a fucking trailer park, to be honest. When the vacuum knocked over, there was a can of cat food in there as well. We, we saw that cat Was it garage. open or unopened can of cat food? It appeared to be unopened. So it leads me to believe that the, the vacuum cleaner <clears throat> might still be in, in good well, we didn't, condition as well. We don't know that it didn't come out of his pocket. No. Like maybe he's eating the cat food. Uh, maybe. Just trying to slim down a little bit. I mean, Oof. cat food is very nutritious. Old people eat it all the time. Look at him laying there right now, right? So he either that sandal ripped off or it ran for its life um, or it, it fell off. I'm going to go with rip on this one. Yeah. Um, look, I don't know if there's a weight rating on mm -hmm. sandals. But if there is, he he's definitely, he's, yeah, he's definitely he's past it. Of that. Uh, is that a bear next to him? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with the outdoor. Oh, there's a Menards. That's. Menards is only in the Midwest, isn't it? It is. Yeah, but look, the, the guy's wearing a brave shirt. I'm telling you, that's the South. I know the South. This is who travels south. with a goddamn 55 gallon trash can from the Midwest to the South, though. Wow, oh, people, people have got a lot to move. You think they went Beverly Hillbilly <laughs> style and stuffed all their stuff yes. in garbage cans to yes, move it there? Dude. Garbage cans and Piggly Wiggly bags. Man. Yes. I've done that. Jesus if, I've, I moved with all trash bags numerous I've, times. In college, yeah, but yeah. not now. Come on, man. With, I mean, I'm talking just black fucking trash bags. I've dumped everything in there and, and gotten out of Dodge. Look, I mean, what's the purpose of not doing that if you've just got a bunch of clothes? If it's not something that's going to break, use a garbage can yeah. or bag, rather. Not a can, though. That's what not I'm saying. Not a can. Saying. Uh, but, it, look, maybe they're, they, they got a moving truck. What's maybe that other package truck? right there at the top? Is that a Coors Light case? Probably can't zoom in on it. Yeah. I can't tell what it is, but it looks like it might be. A it looks like a, a ripped open Coors Light case. Coors, uh, ice cold, delicious Coors. If if you're if you're at home and you've got your redneck checklist out, uh, you've pretty much gone through it at this point. Yeah, can you back up a little bit and show us that scene where the cat's in the background? There we go. Yeah, nope, little forward. What kind of cat is that? Uh, it's a calico cat. That black was really and white, black and white calico. Big, big yeah. fan of calicos. Yeah, look at him. <clears throat> uh, so the cat yeah. is like. 
why does this fat piece of shit have my goddamn cat food in his pocket right now? <laughs> There's also that, that yellow bin is cat litter right there. It is, yeah. So, I mean, they've got a lot of stuff stored outside. I'll say that. I, I think <laughs> probably, he, he, look, it appears as if he lives outside, the cat lives outside. Half that family probably lives outside. <laughs> Here's my big problem. The footwork is terrible. Oh, Have you it's, never it's fucking awful. been in a guy? Look at him crossing his feet over and stuff like Oof. that. It's Have you terrible. not been in a sword fight? This is why he fell. Oh, they get a oh, light the bear got him. The bear oh, got him. Was it the That's bear? what happened. It was the bear, was and then he knocked over the fucking. Oh, him. man. There was a, there's, by the way, there's a, if you back up, there is a car in that garage. Yeah, you want to back up and call out that license plate? Yeah, that's probably, it looks like Michigan. <laughs> it did look like Michigan. God, that wouldn't surprise blue and white, me either. Right? <clears throat> um. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> is it a minivan? Um, n- no, it looks like a, oh, yeah, I yeah, think it is. It's not a, ter- it's not a terrible car. Hold on, let me see if that's, they, look at that. They've got a, they've got one of those fridges out there for, uh, they got a beer fridge out there, Dan. I think that's probably where they keep the cat food, to be honest. No parking on a, it's a fire lane. Yeah. I don't, don't want to know the actual yeah, license plate. I definitely don't need to know that license plate because I'm not going to be searching for that guy anytime soon. But what I do notice is the beer fridge, which is a polite move, um, and then the sign thing. That's very kiddish. Did you ever steal a street sign? Um, everybody everybody <laughs> wanted to steal a street sign growing up. Of like, oh, hey, man. No, I mean, I'm sure I would have. That's a shitty one, though. Like the no parking fire lane sign. Yeah, like they stole that out deal. of a parking lot. Take steal a f- one off the fucking highway, yeah, you pussy. Dude. T- off a highway or take a stop sign. You ever try to rip a stop sign out of the ground? No, but I've shot them with guns a lot. Good luck, man. They're hard to get out of the fucking ground. Well, you just got to unbolt them, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and last but not least, is that gas? Is that a full? Ha, it's a half tank of gasoline outside too, next to them. Uh, it looks like about a five gallon can. Yeah, Ooh, that's so nice. I, I just wonder what you can do. There's a shovel over there on the mm-hmm. left. Some kitty litter. Yep. Uh, uh, there's a cat, obviously. Beer fridge. Uh, beer fridge. There's a five gallons of gas. Yep. A bear, and uh, vacuum cleaner. Now, what can you do with all that? You build a fucking bomb. Yeah, you can. When have he a party. went down, it reminded me of that <laughs> zeppelin that exploded. Uh, you know, when uh, was it Germany? Which one? Uh, the Zeppelin. Oh, the, the Hindenburg. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very. <laughs> watch, watch him go down here. Boom! Oh, pause that. Man, yeah. Pause it right there. That's the Hindenburg. That's right the Hindenburg. There. He's dead. Yeah. That guy shit his pants. And look, he's he's clearly not wearing underwear. He's wearing some kind of fucking basketball shorts and no underwear. It, the way that this is paused right now, his dick shot up a little bit. Yeah. You can see he's got a hammer on him. He dude. may have a, a back injury because priapism happens if you get a back injury. It's yeah, yeah, like yeah. permanent erection. So he may be he may be paralyzed. Permanently now. erect. I, here's the thing, man. If he loses, I don't know, just let's just say three, four hundred pounds, <laughs> he's got a hammer on him. I mean, he could do yeah. some shit in life. Yeah, I don't know about the shape of his head necessarily, but if he just, you know, yeah. gets I, gets wealthy i'd like to end it on a positive note and say hey man young padwan yeah. if you can get your life together it appears as if you you have a hog on you um you've got a lot of th- things there to get your way out of your situation uh that gasoline you can fill up a moped that'll take you pretty far yeah out of town yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm a thousand miles from nowhere it's it's upsetting to me that his thighs and calves are the same width well, I've seen that. To be fair, though, I've seen that on women as well. That's a lot. In, a lot of it's, people in the Midwest. We call it a hot dog leg, where there is no shape or discernible yeah, yeah. Uh, muscle <clears> whatsoever. <throat> but uh, easily correctable. He can go on a revenge body with Chloe Kardashian. I'm not sure what that, that is, but yeah, it's, a, it's an E show Oof. where she helps no. them get back into shape. So, well, uh, give it a go. Give yeah. it a go. And uh, if you're <laughs> if you're at home, uh, send us in these videos. I, look, we get them a lot. But uh, we'll try to keep up with these and do some more reaction videos for you. Whoever sent this in, this is, this is just as, as fucked up as we hope for. This is everything I hope for. There's a lot to examine. I like to go through this like a crime scene. Yeah. Um, and things like that make me amped. A quick hitter, make sure it's long enough because uh, a quick hitter is not going to do it for no, me. No, it's got to be like three to five minutes. Three to five minutes so we can really get into it, get some backstory <laughs> on this guy's life. Uh, and if anybody knows what happened to this gentleman and would like to write it in the comments below, tell us what happened to this kid and if you know where he actually lives. Maybe we can send him something. A bottle of Luke Belair. Yeah. Is he, he's probably underage, but... I don't, um, I don't know. He looks like he might be older. Maybe some Kill Cliff, some CBD from uh, KillCliffCBD.com. Maybe. Yeah, Promo we'll code Drinking Bros, 20% off. We'll do it. We'll, we'll send it. Somebody try to find this kid. And, uh, and again, send in your clips if you want us to... Uh, narrate them to drinking bros podcast on facebook